Hey guys, this is my new HP 30 inch QHD monitor. Resolution is 2560 by 1440. I actually downgraded from uh, 432 inch 4K. I actually sold my Samsung 30 inch M7 because the text was too tiny uh, at a native resolution and I really didn't want to upscale the text. So I got this and this was on sale at Best Buy for $200. So I was like, that's a good deal. So here we go. Okay, that's interesting design. DVI and power cable. Here, monitor base. And the cards. And and this time okay and here's the monitor here it is one HDMI one DVA uh, all the control from the back I don't prefer really work the control from the back but that's okay plastic uh, no speakers okay let's put the stand this goes in like that that's it and then screw the base yeah like that okay it's done So my previous monitor was a VA panel, I really hated it and I wanted to buy an IPS and this one is IPS and for 200 bucks it's actually pretty good. That's out of the box color, we need to calibrate it. And 60, 75, let's try 75, I don't think that works, oh it does work, yes keep changes and it's height adjustable so. I really like having two 32 inch uh, QHD monitors for day-to-day -day work. I uh, kind of hated a 4K 32 inch monitor because the text was uh, too small for day-to-day -day work. It was good for movies, watching movies and stuff, but for day-to-day -day work, text uh, was too tiny at 4K resolution. And uh, you have to kind of make it, uh, you know, scale the text to 150% or something like that to use it. And scaling the text kind of defeats the purpose of buying a 4K monitor. So I couldn't really use uh, the monitor at native resolution, so I stepped down to QHD and I'm really happy with my QHD for uh, my day-to-day -day work. So that's the hardware information, HP X32, hardware version is VIM 101. Let's do a quick test. The flickering that you see is my camera, not actually the monitor can't seem to find any dead pixels in the black color that's my mouse I don't see any dead pixel okay it's a bit darker or maybe it's just my eyes in the corner So I've been using this monitor for almost two months now. Uh, so far I have no problem. The only annoying issue is uh, every time I swap laptops, like my work laptop and personal laptop, the contrast on this one, uh, HP resets to 100%. So every time I have to change it. Apparently that's a non-issue. There are some uh, open uh, tickets with the uh, HP with no solution. But for 200 bucks, I'm happy with the monitor. So if you can find one at Best Buy for 200, I would say buy it. Thanks for watching.